<laughs> and I'm not going to be telling jokes because I'm going to tell the professionals here, but I did want to say a couple of things. A couple of years ago, I co wrote a book about nonprofit organizations. And every nonprofit is, is sort of has uh, what's called a BHAG, which is an acronym that stands for Bold, Hairy, Audacious Goal. They have to have a bold, hairy, audacious goal. And, or excuse me, a big, hairy, audacious goal. And that's actually what they call it in the industry. And I can think of no bigger, hairier, more audacious goal than trying to bring laughter and humor to people with cancer and people who are gravely ill. Having been that kind of person that time of my life, I know how difficult it is, psychologically especially. There are a lot of indignities that go along with cancer, things like surgery, things like chemotherapy, radiation. But what's even tougher, I think, is what happens to you psychologically, because you can't help but think, why is this happening to me? What did I do? What should I have done differently? And this can last well beyond even the time of your treatment. And I think that what these great comedians do at the Gotham Comedy Foundation, by going into the hospitals and, and different um, organizations and bringing laughter and telling jokes to people who so desperately need it, is that they give them like a shield against all the circumstances that are overwhelming them. Because it, laughter really gives you a critical distance. And without that critical distance, things overwhelm you. Whereas if you're, you're suffering and someone walks in and tells a joke, especially a really good joke, one of my favorites is the one like about the doctor who goes to the patient and says, I've got terrible news, you've got cancer, and you've got Alzheimer's, and the patient says, oh, thank God, at least I don't have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great joke, right? And I'm telling you, it's not my joke. But when you're, in a, when you're in a bad way, there's just nothing quite like that. To lift your spirits and give you real hope. I think it's great that there are all these organizations saying, stand up to cancer and be strong and be a fighter. But when you're getting your ass kicked, it's very hard to do that. I, at least for me, it was very difficult. So it's, I like that uh, comedians can offer you something that you can really relate to and that can really truly help you in a very genuine way, which is laughter and humor. So uh, luckily, the nonprofit book is not the one that I did to help amuse cancer patients. I wrote another book called Now It's Funny, which my wife calls Michael, you're not funny. <laughs> She's here, she can tell you that. It's actually a true story. Um, and I hope that in some small way I can help and contribute and compliment the fantastic work that the Gotham Comedy Foundation does. So thank you so much for this yeah. award. I feel a little bit, a little bit like the scarecrow, you know, the next diploma from the Wizard of Oz. He's like, no, you really are smart. Yeah, you really are funny. Not really. But it's okay because we have comedians here tonight. So thanks again. Yeah. And, uh,